Now we got Moneybag Yo and Big 30. They've been trading shots back and forth. They've been talking shit on records towards each other, but records are leaked here and there. We heard a, a Big 30 disc record that leaked towards Moneybag Yo some time ago. If you watch one of my other videos, I said that was one of the hardest shits uh, Big 30 dropped recently. You know what I mean? So, Moneybag Yo just dropped a new album. He had it clear as his, his chest, and, and he got some rec he got some words off. You know what I mean? Now y'all know we can't put it up here for YouTube, so let's try to get the lyrics. We just gonna put the snippet up. Fuck it. We get flagged. Fuck it. How the fuck you get mad at me? Cause I ain't biting out on your situation or your campaign, bro. Like I can't make these folks feel you. I gave everybody a shot at this shit. What you want me to do? You air ball. Speak. Shed so many tears by Nooski Vault. You ain't the only one that took that fucking loss. All that secret smoke got me pissed off. Head told me to chill. I'm like, hell no. Nah. Telling one side, trying to save face. Putting a cap on it. That shit ain't straight. It be all good when the money flows. Soon as it go, love turn to hate. Niggas ain't did shit for me. I ain't asked nobody to jump in my beef. No. If you wanna be honest, you niggas got in it. Cause y'all would dig riding on me. No rap cap. Ask me how shy I be with dude and you. How that shit work? Tell him. That's his nigga and he my nigga. But I look cool at first. No more. You the one did that fake shit. I stood down, nigga. How the fuck? Am I wrong? Supposed to win even harder when shots got locked, but it's like you stop putting on. What happened? Going back to my hood of choice right now, I can throw a parade on King's Creek. Nigga. Why you ain't say all that shit that you put in the song that day when you seen me? X-Ray, I see through these niggas, they get on these drugs and gossip like bitches to niggas they barely even know. Really? It happened, I really seen this shit before. Right. Anyway, Big 30 responds to the diss record on Facebook. Niggas still be using Facebook, bro. That's when you know niggas is still deep in the trenches. Y'all niggas still using Facebook? Fuck, if you can, y'all niggas will be using MySpace, bro. What the fuck? Big 30 say on Gino, on Nunu, he not even talking about me. Y'all make up anything. He talking about Trip in the beginning, which is Trip Star. I won't even kick any round dude at all. I my niggas never did ride, put shit in my name. I've been on some CG shit from the rip. He said a couple of bars pointed at me, but that shit was weak. He know he said a couple of bars pointed at me. Uh, know to keep it brief. And he know he can't paint whatever picture he want, but the city know the facts. Niggas came tight. Everybody know bro I ain't on the thing. Quit playing with me. You ain't never brought shit for me. I got them M's. Paid you back what they claim I owe you. And hit 500k and gave yo nice ass a million. Cause that's your splits. I left with a million and some more. Damn near two. Damn. Two M's? Okay. That's all right. Okay. Oh, okay. You paid him back. So if that's why he mad, I can understand it. So if you paid a nigga back his money. You can't, okay. Okay. You paid a nigga back his money. You can't paint whatever picture you want to paint about him. Yeah, I got a mutual homie that died. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to misquote nothing. And then I'm going to give y'all my reaction. Said, and who the fuck said they gonna die about that lame ass shit? That don't even sound like me. Truth be told, nigga recruited my nigga for protection. I sure hope you ain't never thought my nigga had superpowers. He couldn't do it by himself, fool ass nigga. You came to our hood for the muscle because them folks started to put pressure on his ass. Extortion on me. Damn, y'all think Moneybag Yo was getting extorted? Y'all think Moneybag Yo was hiring niggas for security? And he, why not just hire real security? But oh. He's still paying niggas to this day to stay off his ass. How the fuck you Nooski living? You don't do shit Nooski do. I ain't tried to lift a pinky. I wore a bread gang chain because I was signed to you. You begged me for a big burp chain. Shiesty said himself, negative. It's only two of us do the bozo and the clown. And that shit was dead. And please tell these folks. 
when we ever talk face to face and I ain't have minds on me or you know how we moving. We brought life to that shit, made the city respect you. My nigga died for that lame ass shit. You ain't even come to the funeral. You posted a car I was in. It's a big difference between me and you. Ask anybody. I had 150K in a backpack ready to spend whatever to put my nigga away. Nice. Make sure. And nice and make sure he's straight. You call my phone begging to let me let you pay for the funeral knowing you ain't have a first nor a second thought on coming. Talking about after Shiesty got locked, I laid down law. I was on some mo shit at the at the time. After my nigga died, I couldn't stay in rap mode like you. You done played now. I really got to flush you. Now, y'all know this is Memphis shit, man. I hate to see it, but I could understand it. I'd have been in situations like that myself. Now, I guess the picture money bag, yo, is allegedly trying to paint a Big 30, which is Big 30 mad, is you mad that these fans and the rap industry and people in the gang ain't really fucking with you how they was. You signed to me, but you airball and you fell off. I can't make these people fuck with you, so you start dissing me. Big 30 like, nah, nigga, I lost a homie in this shit. I lost homies behind a lot of this shit. I lost homies, period. That shit hit different. Fuck rap. And that's how this shit really be going, too, though. Like, if you lost a homie for real in this shit, or you really be, you know, you got to be strong-minded in the music industry type shit to keep going. Like, uh, taking a real loss from a homie, that shit have set you back some time. Then niggas put life on hold. So it's like, man, I got to bury my niggas. I got to get through my emotions about the shit. Then I'm sad. I don't know how close Nooski was to him, but it's like, bro, this is a real life loss. We talk about a real death, bro. This shit really hit home for me. It's probably been my everyday partner. Like, I got to live life without this nigga. Press this nigga probably was a big part of my campaign. It's hard to do this shit without my nigga. Then I got to bury him. Then I got to think about his family or his kids. Then I got to think about myself. Then I got to... Man, fuck that rap shit, man. I'd rather just get me some money a legit way right quick or, or go back to the trap or something right quick and then I'll rap when I feel better. So that's what it just sound like to me. A whole bunch of local Memphis shit that led over into music because these niggas are stars. Money bag, yo, a big star. Big 30 was an upcoming rapper. He did make a name for himself and Memphis was shicey. Y'all let me know, man. Y'all get in the comments, like, comment, subscribe. My opinion. Taking a loss with a homie is a real ill. That rap shit don't be mean to nothing. So now if you was halfway showing niggas love, but you really won't fucking with niggas, I ain't fucking with that. If you know you was paying niggas for protection, and you know you ain't really fuck with us. You really was paying us for protection, man. Tell the people the truth. So that's all I look at. It's like secrets. Secrets. The secrets the fans ain't supposed to know is the secrets that's coming out now. Only only people in Memphis gonna really know what the fuck going on. We'll never know, cause niggas know how to rap really good. And you got fans that's gonna believe the rich niggas, and then you gonna have fans believe the niggas that's still in the streets halfway and in the music halfway. So maybe we need to watch some more Memphis Street news and see what the hell they talk about to get the full backstory. Us as fans on the outside looking in, we ain't gonna know. But now if he was paying them niggas for security to keep niggas off his ass. He shouldn't have said nothing. But then again, who knows? All, everything might be capped. You got three sides to a story. You got the truth. You got the lie. And then you got whatever the fuck people want to believe. So who do y'all believe in this situation? I'm a music fan. We get music out of this shit. I don't give a fuck. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. But... Should Big 30 have let the nigga pay for pay for the film? Like, I would have. Like, man, let that man do something. If he fuck with the nigga, he fuck with the nigga. Y'all both don't know how hard he, the nigga who died fuck with 
either of y'all. Because niggas be saying a lot of shit that you don't know. It be Niggas be having their own conversations behind the lines and you'll never know. That's what I know. It's always a middle line when it comes to this shit. So you should have, Big 30 should have let the nigga pay for the funeral. Fuck it. And it would have made his plate better. But I can understand Big 30 because he would have been like, bro, you ain't about to say you did all this, did all that for my nigga. You ain't even really fuck with my nigga. You only saying that for bragging rights. Nah, I ain't fucking with that. I understand both sides. Did Big 30 fall off? Is that a reason why he could be mad? Possibly. Do I believe that? Nah. Because niggas coming from the streets, bro. If you come from the streets and you make a million fucking dollars and you just come from sleeping on the floors, you won. Big 30 ain't really make it out, make it out, make it out the streets for real. like. But I don't want to go into all that. Yeah, I will be talking for that. Y'all let me know. Get in the comments, like, comment, subscribe. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. Outside looking in. Hey, man, I hope these guys fix it. But from the looks of this, and how I know this type of shit go, they won't be able to fix this. I'm just a messenger.